currently in Shadron State Park. I am on the Black Hills Overlook Trail. So a quick little recap. Set up camp in the dark. Per use, that's a very typical thing for me. <laughs> Getting in, got maybe three hours of sleep. And now I'm heading down this trail hoping to catch a sunrise. Oh, so I think I forgot to talk last night about uh, car hinge. So this guy, I guess, who was from Alliance, moved over in Europe and saw Stonehenge. And then he came back and was like, oh, I had this idea that he wants to do that in Nebraska. So they put a bunch of cars down. I believe it was in 19, 1987, I think, if I remember from the sign. It's a kind of a neat little deal. A little strange, but quirky and fun. Um, if you're into kind of artistic installations, definitely check it out for sure. It is about 4.40, I think, in the morning. Obviously, the morning. I think it's about a half an hour until sunrise. So, in blue hour light, sky is very a muted pink and some nice deep blues in the clouds. People will ask and do not know what poison ivy looks like. So this here is a really classic example in that these small plants that grow together, they have this really distinct leaf pattern of three. That's why the phrase is leaves of three, let it be. Um, it usually always grows in really thick like this. You don't really want to touch it, and if you do touch it, make sure you don't start scratching and spread it. Fun fact for the day. It's 5.10. I do not believe that there's going to be a sun poking through all this cloud this morning, which is fine. I do think I found a cool spot to take an environmental selfie, what I like to call them at least. Um, so, I do landscape photography, wildlife photography, um, a little bit of portrait, um, some engagement stuff every once in a while, but mostly landscape, nature, wildlife type stuff. I remember probably when I first started taking photography seriously, I would see all these really good photos, what you would call, I guess, fine art. And then you sort of kind of get this idea in your head that like if you want to be a good photographer, only good photographers do fine art. That's such a backwards way of thinking. It's like you're, you're limiting yourself um, to so many different things. And uh, a year ago when I was here last, um, I would have never even thought to do this, but um, these environmental selfies are kind of like your, uh, like the adventure side to my photography, or any or anyone's really, not just mine. I'm not the only one who does this, <laughs> but basically, what it's supposed to do is to convey to the viewer of, hey, I want you to go here. This place is cool. So that's what I think I have here. Um, I'm gonna set up and set the GoPro up so you can record what I'm doing, or record what I'm doing, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to record it so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, hopefully it comes out pretty cool. I don't have my classic orange jacket with me this morning. Like I said, I forgot my forgot my my trail runners and my infamous orange jacket. However, I do have my favorite travel tie-dye on, 
which is going to <laughs> which is going to help add a contrast so I stick out more in the frame against um, the green backdrop unlike this blue which is a complementary color and will kind of mesh with the surroundings and not stick out as much because the point is is you want to be able to see the human in the photo so here we go <laughs> set up um, I have the composition kind of worked out so basically where I want things in the frame I'm going to set a timer on my camera so that will give me time to move into position for this image um, settings I'm at uh, f11 because I want a lot of detail and I'm at a half second shutter speed and ISO 100 I am shooting with my Nikon D 3300 with the Sigma 17 to 55 2.8 lens and I have a circular polarizer on that's going to give me more color saturation and more uh, texture in the clouds and the Sun is up already it's kind of starting to trying to peek through but it's not gonna do it it's not gonna push through um, so I'm not really trying to do anything crazy with long exposures or anything. The clouds are a little bit too solid. Um, so this is going to just be me running down and hopping in a photo. And hopefully it turns out pretty cool. We'll see. simple I mean just be careful when you're doing it like I don't know if it shows up really on camera but I mean I definitely could have fallen and tripped I don't know how graceful it looked <laughs> having me go down there um, oh man I'm kind of kicking myself for leaving my orange jacket at home because the tie-dye definitely works better than like the blue would have as far as me sticking out but the orange orange and red yellow would have worked really nice too um, but whatever, <laughs> it, that happens. I think I am done for the morning. Uh, the sun was kind of visible for about two seconds, um, but the light isn't gonna do anything more than this. So I got one photo that's well, all right. I mean, it's not my favorite. If I would've had the orange jacket, it would've been perfect. <laughs> it's always better with the orange jacket. Uh, <laughs> But I'm gonna head back and then probably lay down for a little bit and then get up and see what we're gonna do for the day. It's kind of gonna be a chill, more relaxed trip. I'm usually always running around and always just hunting down images. And But this weekend, I'm going to relax. Do, gonna definitely do some photography, but definitely gonna try to relax a little bit more. Back on trail, uh, headed back to the car. I'm gonna try to get some rest. I don't know if I'll fall back asleep, but at the very least, uh, I'm just gonna try to rest my body a little bit. This place is just, this place is really, really cool. Um, there's views everywhere, which is nice. I mean, every, every which way you turn. There was a fire out here at some point. There's a lot of burn and I'll show that here in just a second when I stop talking <laughs> but oh speaking of which uh, what do you guys think about the audio you like it don't like it let me know um, I didn't get the I went with a cheaper route for a mic than what everyone recommended I guess uh, so let me know if you think it sounds good or if not I can maybe get a new a different mic or whatever um, but okay 
gonna head back to camp and then I am going to just show you guys some b-roll of things that I see when I get there <laughs> Here is my home away from home, the tent. Um, I've had this tent for a while. I think it's the uh, Kelty Grand Mesa 2, I'm pretty sure. I love this tent. Um, at least for car camping, it's terrific. Um, yeah, I don't really. No bad things really to say about it. I'm rambling. I'm gonna take a nap. Or at least lay down. Or also at least stay here until I figure out where Kyle is. I'm sure he took Todd for a walk. That's gotta be what it is. So, okay. <laughs> 